Forget prohibition. You want to discourage people from using drugs? Sell them at the post office. Hello, boys and girls. Lord Hawkeye yet again. I, uh, it's funny how often you can find parallels between this game and the real world if you look hard enough. Some may call that incredibly nerdy, but, oh well. My old philosophy, learn from everything. Well, anyways, what I'm talking about this time is um, one of the big topics that goes on in this game right now is the issue of the game being becoming more casual friendly. And a lot of people have a problem with that. They say it'll ru it'll it's, ru it's ruining the game, it's making it too easy, it's letting all the noobs in to taint everything or something like that. And um and for the longest time, I never could understand why people would believe something like that. I mean, I always said, well, what do you care? What do you care? Play your way, they play their way, doesn't matter. And um, then I made the connection. This sounds a lot like, say, like the teachers' unions or the doctors' unions or all those other people say, oh, no, you got to have these strict requirements for getting in, otherwise you'll, ru you'll ruin the whole thing. Then just anybody will be able to get in and wreck it and all that sort of nonsense. And they keep saying that, and yet time and time again, it's always the other way around. Uh, why is why is that? Why are people why do people um, object to barriers to entry being removed, whether it's from the game or whether it's from an occupation or whether it's anything? Because I mean, you think about it, it doesn't make much sense. If you really are the good at what you really good at what you do, you could care less who the competition is. I mean, if I was the fastest runner in the world. I don't care if I'm running against two people, ten people, or a hundred people. In fact, if anything, I'd be more in favor of running against more people. It would just further, he'll just further prove me. So, and that's when it hit me. It's the, it's the same thing with Rand. These people don't object to it because they're good and they don't want lesser people and wrecking it. They do it because they're actually half-assing it and they don't want to be exposed for that by more skilled people being allowed to get in. Because I mean, like, I mean, like, seriously, I'll tell you, I'll tell you from personal experience, having raided in the vanilla in this game, raiding is not that difficult. I mean, here's a simple test: Are you aware that fire that fire is bad and you shouldn't stand in it? If so, congratulations, you are officially qualified to um, to raid in this game. <laughs> yeah, people yell at me for that, but it really, it's the it really is that simple. And the same thing with doctors. Do you really need 25 years of education to tell someone, oh, you got to throw infection, here's an here's a, um, antibiotic? <laughs> no, once again, not that difficult. I'm not saying it's not all easy. It certainly isn't. But 25 years, no. no I'm sorry, no. So what do we conclude from this? The conclusion I reach is that elitism, whether it's in this game, whether it's in real life, whether it's in whatever, is nothing more than protection for incompetence. Yep, that's right. People who cry about more competition just don't want their incompetence to be exposed. That's all it really is. Tis sad, but it's true. Because, just like I said, if you if you really are the best at what you do, you could care less who's competing with you. Doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So. That's a, little bit, that's a little bit of thought to chew on for today. Oh, and um, by the way, I will. if you have a question or a topic you'd like me to talk about or anything like that, write, to com write a comment saying what your question or topic is, and I'll pick the best one to do for my next one because, well, to be perfectly honest, I'm running out of ideas for what to talk about. So help me out and um, see, if you, see if yours gets chosen. Until next time, be aware and be wise.